have you come up to the front of the church. Keep your masks on, but you can come up to the front of the church for a special message just for you. So we'll take a, a couple minutes here, just have the kids come on up to the front. I'm going to have you sit right here on the steps with me, okay? You can come right on up to the front. <laughs> You can have a seat here on the steps, or you can keep a distance. Okay. Hey, awesome. And if anybody's watching online at home, you can join us too, kids, now for a special, special message. So, how many of you got to go for our Easter egg hunt in the park today? Maybe you got to go and collect some eggs. Donald got to go. Yeah. And Sister Evelyn, I think any, some people got to go. That's good. If you didn't get to go, though, I have this giant egg to share with you. I have a giant egg to share with you. Now, at the beginning of Lent, at the beginning of Lent, there was a word that we use a lot in the church service that we stop using. And we can fit inside of this egg. Does anybody know what that word is? Raise your hand if you think you know about what it is. Raise your hand. If you don't know, I'll give you a clue. Eggs. Eggs. Good guess. That's not eggs. What if I say this? What if I say, he is risen, he is risen indeed. What would you say? He is risen, he is risen indeed. We said at the beginning of the service, what do you think? Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> That's right, Evelyn. Thank you. So the word that we were not using for a while was hallelujah. Because it's a very joyful word. It's a word that we use to express our excitement and our happiness and our joy. But during Lent, right, we're thinking about Jesus' death and his suffering and his dying for our sins. And so we hid it away inside of our egg too. So what we need to do today, on this Easter Sunday, is we need to let out our Alleluia's. Can you help me to let out an Alleluia? Can you do that? Okay, so everybody gets to take an egg, but don't open it yet. Everybody can take an egg, you can take one. Don't open it yet. Just pass it around. Don't open it yet, okay? Take an egg. You can take one too. And we're going to let our alleluia's out all at once, and we're going to see what happens. And the congregation can help us with this too. We can do it together if you want. Okay, so we're going to say, He has risen, He has risen indeed. We can open our eggs and say hallelujah. Can you guys help us with that? Okay, ready? He has risen. He has risen indeed. Hallelujah. was suffering as he was dying on the cross for my sins, for your sins. And then today, we see that he rose. And we're going to hear that in our Bible story today. There were some women coming to the tomb. They thought Jesus had died uh, still, and they were going to put some spices in his tomb. And when they got there, what did they find? Was there anybody in the tomb? What do you think, Joel? There was a rock to the rock. The rock rolled away, that's right. And the angels told them, he's not here, he's risen. And there was one woman, Mary, who stayed behind in the garden, and Jesus appeared to her, and he comforted her, and he told her he was going to be okay. He had risen, and that means that she would have everlasting life, just like you and me. So let's hold our hands, let's pray about that, and let's celebrate today with lots of hallelujahs. And you can take an egg as we go back to your seat. 
Let's hold our hands. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for sending your son to die on the cross and raise from the dead that we could have new life in him. Thank you for sharing this message with us through your word and giving us words to celebrate and to say thank you for all that you've given us. Be with us as we enjoy the celebration of today and hear your word from the people who experienced it firsthand. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, you can take another eight of you as you go back to your seat and you can say hallelujah today. Hallelujah.